Hello guys, Sujari speaking. Welcome to OJ Peace Be Eyes episode number 1199. Today back into um, Mr. Case who celebrates Madam CJ Walker. That one I have not seen before. We have this begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Wow. Oh, hi friend. I'm so glad you're here today. I was just getting ready to leave for the day so that I could stop at the hair store to buy some hair products for my daughters. Wow. My daughters wear their hair in many different ways. Hmm. Sometimes it's curly. Hmm. Sometimes it's poofy. Wow. Sometimes it's worn in braids. Wow. There's a lot of different ways we can style their hair and they can be proud to know that their hair is beautiful. Wow. Some of the products that I need to get are shampoo and conditioner, which is used to clean their hair, grease, which is used to help their hair and scalp to not get dry, and a bonnet for them to wear to bed so that their hairstyle can be protected while they sleep. Mm. Do you ever use any of these products? No idea. We have a lot of different well, hair Well, actually, items. actually, yes I do. Because that's silly me, because I have long hair too. But that's just good enough, because... At the time, yes, long hair is just a good idea in my body. Ever since the late, early 2020s. I'll tell you what. That we can use that are made just for the kinds of hair we each have. And there's a lot of people who we can thank for those items. Oh, hey, say, how about before I leave, I tell you about one of them. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the vision board. Okay. This is Sarah Breedlove, better known as Madam C.J. Walker. And she was both one of the first women to ever become a millionaire. Okay. And she created many hair products that were made for the kind of hair that people of color have. Okay. Sarah was born on December 23rd, 1867. In okay. Louisiana. She was one out of six children. And she was the first child to be born into freedom, which means she was protected from becoming a slave. Wow. Sarah became an orphan by the time she was seven years old because both of her parents passed away. She moved in with her older sister, Lavinia, and her husband, and worked from that young age as a servant. And Sarah only had three months of education, which she received during Sunday school at church. Throughout her life, Sarah had one daughter named Elelia from her first marriage, and she married three times in total. Her third marriage in 1906 was to Charles Joseph Walker, and that is where she became known as Madam C.J. Walker. Hmm. In 1885, Walker and her daughter moved to St. Louis, Missouri, where three of her brothers lived, and she found a job doing laundry, only wow. making just a little over one dollar a day. During these times, Walker suffered from severe dandruff in her hair and baldness, and this was because around these times, homes didn't have plumbing or electricity, so there were no lights at night and no running water to take showers every day or... Wow. Wow. Okay. Continue on. Wash her hair like we can today. Sarah had learned a little about hair care from her brothers who were barbers, but around 1904, she met a lady named Annie Malone who was selling her own hair care products. Sarah began working for Annie and selling her products, and by 1906, Sarah had her own hair care business with her husband, CJ Walker, as her business partner. Wow. She even made her daughter, Alalia, in charge of taking care of orders by mail while she and her husband traveled throughout the United States to grow the business. In 1908, Mr. and Mrs. C.J. Walker moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and opened up a beauty shop in Lalia College to train people on how to do hair. Okay. In 1910, Sarah moved her business to Indianapolis and that's where she set the headquarters for the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company. Yeah. In Indianapolis, Sarah built her home and a factory, as well as a hair salon and a beauty school so that she can train her employees, and she even added a laboratory to help with research to develop new hair products. Okay. Sarah's main focus was to help your hair grow and condition your scalp by using her products. Okay. She employed all women to be sales agents and show how the products worked, and by 1917, she had given jobs to over 20,000 women. And not only did she give women jobs, but she also taught many other women how to build their own businesses. Okay. 
Madam C.J. Walker passed away at the age of 51 in 1919, and her company grew even larger after she died because her business began to reach into other countries, not just the United States. And her daughter wow. became the president of the business until she passed away. Aside from hair care, Sarah received many awards, and she fought for change in many different ways for African American people. Mm -hmm. One of the inventions most people say she created is the hot comb, which is a metal comb that uses heat to help comb through tough hair. The truth is, however, is a Frenchman by the name of Marcel Gratel actually made this item popular in the 1870s, but wow. Sarah found a way to make the product better by putting more space between the teeth on the comb, and that made the hot comb even more popular. And because of that, people are still straightening their hair today. Wow. So Madam C.J. Walker should have her own holiday because she really created her own lane in the African-American hair care business, and many people around the world still use her ideas, her products, and the hot comb to this day. Well, I better run. I have to get to the hair store before it closes. See you later. And next time a trusted adult does your hair, think of Madam C.J. Walker. Yes. Hey, maybe you'll even create new products for the world to use when you're older. Hmm. You never know. Bye for now. So that was, you know, we'll run the credits more. But anyway. So that was Mr. K celebrates Madam CJ Walker episode 10. What I think about this episode is it was amazing. So far this episode was a success. That was all should be at episode number 1199. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one is gonna be episode 1200, which is gonna be about um Mr. K celebrates um uh, Black History Episode 11. Until next time, this is Joe's Bob's a baby. Good more episodes coming soon. Tell us it out. See ya.